I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event of the evening. From 10 rounds of heavyweights, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Crusher Collins. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Think about the great historic moments in the sport, and many times you think about the one single big punch that finished a great fight. He's the kind of fighter that can do that here tonight. Yeah, and more importantly than that, yeah, he has the power, but there's been other guys. Ernie Shave has had great power. He never won the heavyweight title. You have to have a trick to get it to the target when it's most needed. Like Rocky Marziano against Ezra Charles. You know, Marziano had very little time left. His nose was split, and the ref was going to stop the fight. He had to land that punch, and he had a little trick. Started one hand, threw the other. A crushing two-punch combo by Crusher. Throughout your training career, what did you consistently feel more comfortable with? Training the shorter guy against the taller guy or the taller guy against the shorter guy? Well, you can't teach tall. You know what? That's there or not. I love to have those kind of advantages physically. You just have to make sure that you teach them to fight tall. There's another right hand. He just missed that shot up top. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they could get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Collins, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Ghost combination punching, working out well there. He landed three solid shots. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customato. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato, and they learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything, because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Scores well to the belt line again. Collins' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Crusher. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Thomas is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Collins is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Able to cover up that gut. Collins is crushed by a big shot there. He is down from that left. Collins now getting back up off the canvas. He comes back with the left hand again. Good biting, snapping shot by the Ghost. And 
we come to the end of round number two. The Ghost is feeling great right now. Why not? He just scored the knockdown, and now he's got that eye. He's got that target, that vision. He knows what he can get after. And there's no reason why he wouldn't have that. Right now, the only thing that he has to be careful that he doesn't have is overconfidence. He doesn't get reckless. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Rusher's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. We want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Very accurate two-punch combo by the Ghost. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Move your head. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. A little head hunting with the right. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Oh, good exchange there. The Ghost put forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination scoring. Thomas's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counterpunch landed with some success. Solid left hand to the head. Solid right by Thomas. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Solid hook. Goes up top again. Time to take a look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number four. Thomas has actually got to be feeling pretty good about himself. I know he's dropped two rounds here, but he did score a knockdown in the one round that he won. Yeah, of course, and that's what this is about. This is not amateur boxing, it's professional boxing. The power punches, the punches that hurt the other guy more than he hurt you, they count for more. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. The ghost's completely missing nice the jab. Nice when work. that's not there, well, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now that's like saying I want to go swimming. Guess what? There's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight to set things up. Jab and a straight by Crusher. Right hand downstairs. Solid right by Crusher. Crusher's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. A classic one-two combo by Crusher. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to get him up against the ropes. Collins is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Not able to land the headshot. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Thomas is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Crusher's corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. this fight? this fight you gotta stay busy out there all right because you're losing this fight why because you're not throwing any punches out there you throw punches 
listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That'll keep them away. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. And now he scores well with a straight right. The ghost's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. Hook was well off the mark. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Collins. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. The ghost coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Thomas's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Throw him off with head movement. Good, good. Nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Bye. The start of the sixth round. Crusher's out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. Basic boxing, and it works so well. Put your punches together. A good combo by the Ghost. Punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Collins' jab on the outside, that has really been the difference maker here, hasn't it, Teddy? Yes, it has. But the most important thing is, you know, everybody says, hey, just use your jab, you control the outside. Hey, jab's a great weapon, but it can be very dangerous. You throw it from a little too close, you could get counted with that right hand. He's throwing it at the perfect distance, getting full extension on that punch. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. <sighs> rising back up. That takes some guts. There's an excellent combination by the Ghost.
Crusher's able to avoid that punch. Took a shot, now he gives a left. From Thomas is coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punch that he wants to put forth. Gets rid of that, it was intended for his head. Brings the hook that time. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Collins is gathering himself right now in the corner. And his trainer is really doing him a good service in reminding him. Yes, to this point, the later stages of this fight, you're in control. But still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. What the combinations? You land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Today. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Good block there by Crusher. That's a nice combination right there. Left hook and then finished it with a right uppercut. Collins is doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. At the halfway point of round seven. Unable to score with the hook. Thomas is starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Crusher. Great classic combination. Tried Crusher's hit, and yet another big shot comes in. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. anybody's fight here we are the start of round number eight Teddy you've got him up slightly but I don't know I'm watching this fight and I think at any moment it could turn yeah this is like in the old days you know the corner might break off one of those ammonia caps it's one of those smell sores you know in the nose of a guy pick him up a little bit bring it down the home stretch hey you can't use those anymore but you can use some stern strong words get going come on pick it up a little bit don't sleep now Blocks that belt line well. Crusher's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Nice strike after catch 
challenging one by Collins. The Ghost's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. Right to the head with that right. Oh! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh boy, what a break he just caught. The bell rings at the end of the round, saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. is grasping at straws at this point right now. He has not had an answer for his opponent all night long. Surprised he even got out of that last round when he was knocked down. Good defense just covering up down low. Hand. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Good block by Thomas. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Well, and that's exactly what he deserves. The ref getting involved, warning him for the headbutt. Good work, toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Oh, you're doing great. Son of a Collins landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by the Ghost. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Collins. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. What an excellent two-punch combo by Crusher. Crusher's getting an earful here. He's being reminded, you put yourself in position to win, but you have to stay on course in order to win. the final round of what has been a closely contested battle. Nice block by Thomas. My Trying to take bunches. away the wheels, going to the body with the double jab. Crusher's well off the mark that time.
frustrating his opponent with great defense. <laughs> Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. 